वेलकम वंस अगेन माय नेम इज आलोक श्रीवास्तव एंड आई वेलकम यू टू नेटवर्क नट्स यूट्यूब चैनल सो व्हाट्स आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू और शेयर यू इन दिस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर यू हार्डनिंग एसएसएस सर्वर वी ऑल नो दैट एसएसएस इज यूज फॉर रिमोट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड इट इज अ सिक्योर मैथड ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रिंग अ सर्वर देर आर कपल ऑफ थिंग्स दैट यू कैन डू टू हार्डन योर एस सर्वर सो let me start this video though i am not in a mood to, to do any work today as it's like the holiday is approaching actually i am never in a mood to work <laughs> okay jokes apart uh, so besides this beauty the duesenberg uh, i have a, a small virtual server here for, for here for you you all know that uh, i have this machine for you here now take it carefully this machine has got the ip of 172.24.0.2253 and this is my sss server and now from a different machine here i'm trying to ssh i give ssh root at the rate 172.24.0.253 bang it, it it will just prompt me for the password i will give the password and i am log in onto the word server which is my virtual machine as root no harm nothing no actually there a couple of things can be done to secure or to harden your ssh server i'll just exit from here i'll go to the virtual machine back again sorry i'll be here yeah the first thing is that never allow root to log in via ssh so you know that uh, the main configuration file is under et etc ssh sd underscore config i open this file and i'll just do a couple of changes first change is that i don't want the i i want to change the port so you can just change the port from here default is 22 i make it 2222 so that makes it more difficult for any hacker or any intrusion attempts because normally they will try to hit in on the port number 22 but it can be easily scanned via nmap or any other port mapping tool but it is definitely the first point that you uh, should be considering while hardening your ssh server then make sure that the protocol is version 2 and so that by uh, activating this line i make sure that ssh version 1 is not uh, not at all allowed which is relatively a weaker authentication mechanism now listen address the, now this is very important you make sure that you should specify the particular interface ip address here 172.24.0.253 as it might be the case that your machine has got multiple lan cards or multiple nics so by leaving it to the default line of 00000 the s your ssh server will listen to ssh request on all the interfaces i don't want that so it is always recommended to specify the interface where the ssh should be listening that's great now a couple of things more i'll just go down permit root login make it no i don't want root login so what how will i log in i should be log in with a ordinary user say named alok and then i can do a su to do the admin jobs so here i can write anywhere here anywhere here i can find here i'll write here allow users say alok so only alok is allowed to log in on this server that is true on port number 2222 and ssh will be listening on the ip address of 172.24.0.253 and i had explicitly denied any root login here so let's save and come out from here i'll do a service sshd restart that's great i'll go back to my testing machine i'll try to hit with the root and if you remember the root has been denied to do ssh directly that's great it is being refused but i had changed the port also so even and, and i make sure that you should have a user here named alok let me check if i have the user here or not i'm not very much sure okay alok is here that's good so i have a user here alok which is already being 
there in my word server so how will I hit now I should be using alloc and because I changed the port I should be using 2222 so I need to spell oh I had like I'm on Ubuntu here I, I should be like doing the sudo first I'll make a control C here I'll do a sudo ssh hyphen y alloc at 172.24.0.253 and the port, the port number is 2222 sorry here first it uh, it will prompt me for my password I give my password here and then it should be prompting me for the alloc password which is uh, which is on 172.24.0.253 as it's uh, like it, it has prompted me I give the password I think the password is red hat yeah very true I'd given the right password so here I am logging now I should be doing su and the admin password to be doing any administrative jobs on the word server so in this manner you had actually like prevented the direct root access onto your server as well as you had changed the port so that any anyone who's trying to hit you on the port number 22 by default like because uh, normally the clients will try to hit you with root and at the rate 172.24.0.253 so they will be given the connection refuse because they don't know that I'm running actually on port number 2222 and that is true you can log in only via alloc and then you can do the SU to do the admin jobs if you want to do it on your server so I hope you like this video I'll give the password here again Thank you very much and uh, I wish you all a very happy Christmas and a very happy New Year. Thank you very much. God bless. See you again soon. Bye.